everybody, welcome back and today I'll be doing yet another tag video. It is tag video season, like there are tags floating around everywhere and they're really fun to do uh, because you get different perspectives. So this tag today, it's called the starting over tag. It was created by a YouTuber called Le Petit, I think I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I'll leave her video down below. And I was tagged by two lovely ladies, Tabby from Tabby Violet and Flo in Flow in the City. I'll leave their videos down below as well. So, what is this tag about? It is about imagining if I were to start my entire luxury collection again, what are the five pieces that I would purchase? So what I understand from this tag is that it's not about regret purchases and it's not about thinking well if I didn't buy this I should have bought this instead it's more about just imagining if I could rewind time and purchase five things that actually would make a complete luxury collection or even just a starter luxury collection and so I went about it slightly wrongly initially I was just looking at all the things that I was oh if I didn't buy this if I didn't buy that I could save the money but I after watching Lay's video I understand where she's coming from so I have five uh, areas of things that I would have bought if I could start again and I think that would make a complete luxury collection at least for me so anyway if you're new to my channel my name is Kat I hope you guys would subscribe and join my little luxury family and for everyone else let's get to this video the first handbag I would buy actually is something for work and it would be a plain luxury handbag so when I mean plain I mean no logos or very very minimal logos and um, preferably in the color that is black or really neutral. First luxury handbag is actually the uh, LV Speedy Monogram uh, size 25. So that to me is not a plain handbag. So if I could start over, I think I would have purchased like a, a Givenchy, you know, the Antigona bag is a pretty good one for work. It's plain, it's a decent size. And um, or I would get something like a, you know, toolbox if I had the opportunity. So I'll show you two of the bags which I feel are plain neutral. So to me, something like this is a plain plain neutral handbag and I feel that it is suitable for work. So for me, in terms of size, um, I'm going for a medium size. So I don't want something that is too large, like a tote bag size, but I don't want something that is too small. So something in between, um, say let me take another one, something in between my toolbox and my Celine um, box bag, something between these two actually would be a very perfect size. I also have uh, my Chanel Jumbo, which to me, I guess you could consider this plain, um, though it's a very obvious, it's obviously a Chanel handbag. I bought this mainly for work, so to some people, this would be a plain black handbag. Uh, I would, if I could start again, I would get something maybe like this size or a little bit smaller, but when I mean plain, it's just like even there's no logo, there's no quilts, it's just sleek black handbag. Um, like I said earlier, like the Givenchy would be a very sleek black handbag. What else? Um, I don't know, what else do they have? Like a the puzzle bag from Louis Ve. I think that I'm pronouncing that wrong again. <laughs> Something plain without any logos, without any quilts if possible. I think that would make an amazing first plain neutral bag for work. Second bag that I would buy is an all-rounder bag so something that is weatherproof I could use for you know uh, going out in a way maybe like a full day of running errands for traveling something with zip and safe so for me that would be definitely the LV um, canvas bags I think there are other brands it's just that you know LV is the more popular one so let me grab my speedy so this is my speedy uh, 25 which is like my first ever handbag. It is not looking in the best condition. I did not get it in the bandolier because during the time that I got this bag, bandolier was not an option. So if I could start over and they had the bandolier, I think the size 25 bandolier is a suitable bag size for me. And it's great for traveling and it's great for getting bashed, getting wet, and it's just something that I don't have to worry about. I know Vachetta is something that is... Um, you know, people are concerned about, even I am concerned about Vachetta, especially when it's freaking brand new. But you know, now it's 
honey or brown or black color whatever <laughs> color it is it is um not looking the best but right now i don't really care you know even if my sweat gets on it rain gets on it you know it's 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 amazing it's an amazing bag for you know running out the door uh wearing crossbody wearing on my shoulder you know putting on the floor <laughs> things like that traveling i don't have to worry about this bag so i feel if i had um, an opportunity to start over i would get the speedy b25 bandolier for a bag that I would seriously toss around. Now, if you're not into the speedy uh, designs, I think like the Pochette Matisse is also a really good one that is very popular and it has that opportunity to be carried crossbody, side, and you know, there's a little top handle for you to carry. You need a bag like that for traveling, for, um, you know, running out the door, for errands, you need it for just the whole day kind of thing, some, some bag that is, you know, just, an all-rounder workhorse. The third bag that I'm gonna pick is actually a small, tiny bag. So I didn't grab it. Hang on, let me go grab my little bags. But like I was saying, get yourself a mini bag. And when I say mini, it's really your preference of mini. It could be like mini mini, like my recent haul mini, like super small. Or it could be like a camera size mini bag. And this is for your going out days for you to hang, you know, have a, a tea time with your girlfriends, you know, um, date nights with your daughter, you know, things like that, or your husband, <laughs> and, or, or just yourself, you know, be a, it's a pretty bag in your collection. I think you need that. Trust me, you need it. It's just that after having like a boring black work bag and you got this like uh, all weather canvas bag that's just like, you know, squashed up in some you know weird shape because it's not that pretty you want to have a pretty thing in your collection it's it, it just makes you this is the bag that is like ah oh, i love this bag that kind of feeling so i've got a few and i you know if i start over i think these are the bags that i yeah every time i look at it i kind of feel girly i kind of feel like you know not such a tomboy you know just 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 me being pretty wearing makeup the kind of thing so um i've got i've got two here i'm sure i've got one more but you know I'll just show you two of them. So this is the Gucci Marmont mini bag and if you've been following me for a while, I am not like a fan of the Gucci Marmont size because I have a problem with the heart shape at the back. But I make an exception for this super mini because it is stinking cute. Look at the size. It's, it's super small and just oh, so cute. Now it fits uh, surprisingly, uh, it fits my handphone, which I'll show you shortly. You can wear it like uh, on a crossbody. I've seen girls carry this bag as a belt bag. Um, I think they can even double up the chain and wear it as a short small bag. You can take off the chain and it fits. So let me show you. This is my iPhone 6 Plus with the case. Okay, this chunky case with the even the thumb thing. Look, it goes in. It goes in. So this is actually a decent size mini bag. Let me just close the button. See? I actually really think this is a good purchase, a good buy, if you just want a small little cute bag. Now, if you think this is a bit too small because maybe you need to keep your keys, your uh, little bigger wallet, like you're too lazy to carry, um, change it out and swap it out, get a little bit bigger. So I have something a little bit bigger and it's also super pretty. It is my Chanel camera case bag and I'm going to show you my little damage I've done to it. Because mm. I always... Ah, 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 ah. Dish, dish, dish. <laughs> this is my fault, okay, so... But anyway, I love this bag. This is lambskin Chanel. This is something that I got um, from the store several years ago. I swear I don't remember. But it is super pretty. This is a crossbody camera style bag. And let me show you. <laughs> so... Every time I wear this, I feel pretty. I feel like this is the bag that I want to carry on my shoulder, on my shoulder with a pretty, you know, a tube dress with my heels that are up to this. I just feel super date night kind of girl with this tiny bags. It could be also the Chanel walk. I think that's also a good, um, you know, choice if you want. You know, you don't want to spend like this. This is much more expensive than the Chanel Walk. Chanel Walk is actually an SLG. I personally am not a fan of the usual walks, the one with the button. Hang on, let me go and grab it. This is my Chanel Walk. And 
I know it's a very pretty bag. It's great for, you know, if you just want to put your wall, uh, your handphone and cards in. I get the convenience of it. My main problem with the Chanel walk, and you know, this, I'm not turning this in the rent, is the button closure. I find it really difficult to always, you know, press. And it's quite hard to find. And, you know, every time I am wearing it, I always have to flip to press the button. So, to me, my recommendation for a Chanel walk is actually the one with the turn lock. And I have the one which is the trendy CC Chanel walk. And that walk, I love. Okay, I love, it's luxurious, it makes me feel pretty, it doesn't give me the problems of this button, it is a turn lock, and it's superb. Okay, I love that one. So, yeah, the third bag that I want to, you know, if I, could, if I could restart again, I think I would have went straight into a really pretty mini bag. Like, one of them, I don't have to pick all of them, like, it took me a while to really find, like, one pretty one. So, I, I would go for a... Um, for a mini bag that is just super super cute. So if I had to pick like between my walk, my Chanel, my Gucci Marmon, I think a good starter one, um, though I absolutely love this, this is seasonal, I feel like if I just had to pick one practical one because I don't go date nights very often, I would actually go with the Gucci Marmon if you are willing to spend a little bit more, then go for the um, Chanel squares or rectangulars. I feel like these are, um, you know, they are very sought after. And yeah, it's just cute. This is, has a great price point for luxury starter piece. I would go for is actually a luxury watch. So I actually have three watches um, in my collection. One is my Omega Constellation, which my mom bought for me. I have my Cartier Santos 100 and I also have my J12 with me right now. So I feel like if I could start over and, you know, be a little bit more mindful of what I want to wear on my hand, I would just save my money and buy an amazing watch. So I feel like these are all amazing watches, but it took me a while to get to this point. I bought other things which are not a watch. So I bought, okay, so this is a little bit of a rant. So I bought things like, um, the Hermes Click Clack H bracelets. I know, I know a lot of people feel like these are, you know, well worth the money. I have this blue one. It is really pretty, and I know, I know, but they don't. They're, they're not. They're not useful. <laughs> they're not useful. They are pretty, and I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, let me just wear it. But I feel like if I could start over, I would not have bought these. Click clack H um, or whatever these things are, I would have saved my money and bought a watch because watches are functional and I think they really make your entire outfit as well. These are like toy, luxury toy, expensive ones, and they're expensive. Okay, each piece are each piece is expensive. Save a few of them, you can actually, you know, buy a watch. So that's like a little rant. So I feel like if you are looking for a hand accessory. You can't go wrong with a luxury watch. Um, in terms of brands, that's personal preference. I love sportier watches, and that's mainly because I, I like sporty things. I like big chunky things. I have my Constellation, which is already a feminine uh, watch. So to me, these two are my chunky monkey watches. I, for my personal preference, is a um, it's a jewelry type of watch, something that actually stands out. So. Like, you know, this, I picked it with the gold. I took this in the black because, I don't know, black seemed to look nicer. And it this does look a little bit more classy and chunky in the size. I, I feel like if you do wear watches and you don't mind spending a little bit, you can go between, um, you know, you can go all the way, get yourself a Rolex because Rolex is really classic. You could get it with the two dual tone gold with the stainless steel or you can get it on a white gold and just plain stainless steel you can have the diamonds and everything you know really really is preference so if you decide that you want to get a luxury watch my recommendation is to go for one that um you know will last a long time suits a lot of things that you wear and can suit a lot of occasions that you want to use it with the fifth and final luxury item I'm picking for a starter piece, if I could start all over again, is actually a piece of dainty jewelry. So I'm wearing one right now. Let me come a little closer. 
this single diamond at my collarbone. This is a mm, not imitation, but it's a look-alike with the Tiffany and Co. Diamonds by the Yard um, necklace. So I actually wanted to buy the Tiffany and Co. version, but I couldn't afford it. Okay, I couldn't afford something uh, a little bit bigger. I could obviously afford the one that is like a smaller diamond, but you know, I've got a big neck. <laughs> and I and I felt like the diamond at the price point that I wanted it at was a bit too expensive so I actually got this custom made uh, from a jeweler so he just took a diamond necklace soldered it to the necklace and this is what I got I, I'm really happy with it and I feel like this is a great starter piece in anybody's collection something dainty it doesn't have to be diamond it could be maybe like a star shape or a heart shape or even a tiny pearl something that falls not too long like down here not too long just something that you could wear uh maybe just along your collarbone maybe a little longer if you're not comfortable with something that you feel like choking your neck that if you wear like a like a round shirt you could still see it a collared shirt you know it, it peeps through or even like like this it peeps it's it just sits very nicely along your collarbone this is like an amazing classic piece that would look great with all your outfits. I've worn it with t-shirts, I'm wearing it like this, and every time I wear it, it just stands out. It looks pretty, it looks dainty, it looks simple, classy, and to me, you need one of these in your collection. I feel like, you know, all the funky, chunky monkey, like gold and like diamonds and you know, birds and bees and everything's just sticking out here. You know, it's trendy. It's trendy, it's fun, it could be expensive, it could be cheap, but having just one simple classy piece, I feel like that is uh, something forever in your collection. So one nice pretty necklace. So those are my five picks. If I had to start my entire collection all over again, I would find a plain black or neutral colored work bag without any logos, size medium to um, maybe approximately large, not too large. I would pick an all-weather uh, luxury handbag, preferably canvas or you know kind of long sham nylon material, something that I could use for traveling. It has safety so it means zip and it can be worn crossbody. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be super branded but it's you know because it's luxury i'll go for lv and something that i will use for traveling and just you know chucking a lot of things inside don't have to be so worried about i will also pick one super dainty girly luxurious um, mini handbag so i'm talking about gucci marmon you know chanel walks are also a possibility or even you know, if you really like one if you really want it to be like girly girly check out miu 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 has really really pretty sparkly pink and you know all the glitter and diamonds and diamantes and pearls and everything on the bag that is like your girly piece um i'll go for a watch um something on my hand i feel like these things do you know you will wear very often if you're not a watch person, uh, you could go for maybe like a jewelry piece. Uh, I personally don't recommend because I have these and I do find that they are a little bit more expensive uh, than probably what they're worth. So I'm going for a luxury watch. Um, pick one that will suit m how you wear on a daily basis. So it will definitely, if you're a working woman, go for something that is like work. But if you're a sporty one, maybe pick something that really suits that sporty lifestyle. For me, it's my J, uh, J, I don't want to say J10, but J12. J12 to me is my, it's it's like my perfect, uh, perfect me watch. My Cartier is my Cartier is also one, but just that I just feel that Chanel one is just a tad bit more me. And finally, the last one is a piece of jewelry, and I'm going to pick a necklace, also a dainty, simple, classy pretty necklace that sits not too long but something that you know just falls very comfortably along your neck um this is like maybe a 16 centimeter or maybe 18 so something not too long that you know will look good with t-shirts shirts sleeveless boat necks, whatever, and just looks great with everything. So those are my five picks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too long. I always make videos that are way too long. I will try my best to cut them down a little bit. So until my next video, you guys take care, and I will see you then. Bye.